Good evening, everybody. This is Beer ASMR, and tonight I have this Korean booster pack of 151 to open up for you on my channel. Um, I bought this on eBay actually before the release of the 151 set in the US. I wanted to record this video before it came out in the US to surprise, surprise, to surprise everybody, but I did not end up making it and this has just been sitting on a shelf behind my desk for months and months and I have not yet had the pleasure of opening these packs to see what's inside. Um, I think I bought this for about $30, maybe $40 on eBay and um, the reviews that I had read, like on Reddit and stuff, about the Korean cards were pretty neat. I actually opened another booster box. I didn't record it because I just did it for fun. But I opened a, a booster box of Triplet Beat um, a couple of nights ago. And the cards are pretty nice. They are very smooth and the hollow is a little bit different. So I'll show you guys when I open this one up because I'm assuming it'll be very similar. As you can see, this is sealed. I got this art on the sides from the set. My hope in getting this, aside from just having fun opening so, so many packs, um, was to maybe pull some illustration rares, like increasing my chances of pulling illustration rares without going broke buying the American products of 151 because we do not have English booster packs of 151. So this is really just for fun, but also in pursuit of illustration and special illustration rares. Inside, I forgot how many packs come in this. Are there numbers in the back? Hmm. I had read the information before, but we're going to learn <laughs> very quickly now. Let's see, we have So many packs, so, so, so many packs. I'm going to stack them up in a second. There are 20 packs. So we have 20 packs of Korean Pokemon 151. Um, I had read that the pools are going to be random so it's not like guaranteed um, hollows and stuff like that in these packs um, with the triple beat that I opened up I think there was there were hollows but I'm not sure so we're gonna see what comes up for us Let me just get this little paper in here oh. I guess it's got the list of the different cards that you can get. Set that aside. Okay.
these are fun to make crinkles with. <laughs> with seven cards each inside. I'm not going to do a card trick for this first one so we can learn if there is some kind of pattern. Here we have Polywag to start. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, how am I blanking on his name? Electabuzz. <laughs> I don't have the names to help me out here, Bulbasaur, so my um, knowledge will be tested. Golbat, we've got Diglett, a Hollow Vaporeon. Ooh, here we go, there's already an illustration rare. That's fun. We have a Mr. Mime one. I don't remember if I've pulled this. It looks familiar, I think I've seen it somewhere, but I don't know if I've pulled this already. We'll see when I do my organization video, when I open, after I open the binder collection on my channel. This is fantastic. Very happy with that already. <laughs> very, very quickly found success with the Korean packs. I did get some nice pulls opening the triplet one yesterday too, or a couple days ago. And, um, oh, so gonna share those here someday too maybe okay and then we've got I will not know the names of these cards the items in the trainers are gonna be lost on me <laughs> the Magnemite we've got Pidgeotto Persian Slowbro ooh a reverse hollow yeah <laughs> Kadabra <laughs> This is Kadabra, he's got one spoon, um, and then you can see like how the hollow foil effect is different from the American ones. It's very slick and shiny. I like it a lot, honestly. I will definitely be buying another Korean booster box, like it was a lot of fun opening the one that I opened up the other day, and then I like the way that they look. Okay, and we've got a hollow Dragonite too. Nice. I'm just going to be setting aside, like, the bigger hits, in my opinion, like, these are the ones I'm looking for, so I'll be setting those aside, and the EXs, I, I guess, as well. Oh, I could maybe show more here. I'm probably going to need more than one pile. Here's my crinkle pile. Alright, starting off with a... <laughs> Dratini. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna blank. It is late for me. This is a uh, Geodude. Lickitung. Hitmonlee. An item. <laughs> Another item. <laughs> Reverse Hollow. Hey, this looks like a belt of some kind. And then we've got a an Almastar Hollow. Yeah. So, so far, have these had? those reverse hollow and hollow slots then. You pay closer attention in this pack. I say that and then I'm gonna forget. Let's help the camera focus. Horsey, Bulbasaur, Jigglypuff. Um, <laughs> Cloyster? Is, is it Cloyster? Then Drawing another blank. We've got some kind of stadium, maybe? A reverse hollow polywag. That is so cute. That is a neat effect. And we have a hollow Moltres. Okay, so it does look that, like there is a reverse hollow slot and a hollow slot. So let's test that theory with this next pack. We haven't gotten an energy card, I don't think. Here we have Paris. 
we've got drowsy whoop magic art sand slash poly wrath because he evolves from poly wall over here a reverse hollow abra and a hollow electro cool We're starting off with another item here. Oh, that is beautiful. We've got a beautiful Goldeen. A Venonat. <laughs> he looks like he's his appetite is ramping up, like he's holding his low belly. <laughs> We've got a Parasect. The hollow card back there. Um, Snorlax. We've got Mr. Mine. Ooh, and another illustration rare we go. This is a Pikachu. Oh, and there's Growlithe, and there is, hmm, who's that? Gengar? <laughs> Jigglypuff? And more Psyduck, Slowpoke. Is that a Mr. Mime back there? There's a lot going on in here. Nidoran up here, Pidgeys, um, a Butterfree. Did I get them all? <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so cool. I didn't even know that this one existed. I haven't seen this one before. Yay! <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Very cute. So the quality of these are pretty nice. They do have the same back as the English cards. I don't know if I've shown this yet. They're extremely smooth, like they feel much smoother than the English ones, but they're very sturdy as well. All right, starting off with a Ghastly, a Zubat, Ponita, Onyx, War Turtle, a Reverse Hollow Victory Bell. This is really pretty. Got that green and a Hollow Gengar. <laughs> that is cute. You look very sneaky. Pretty nice. Now, I did not purchase the um, 151, what's it called? The UPC. Um, I just was not very interested in like the art of the Mew, which was kind of a bummer. I mean, I know it's the art that's on the packs, but I wasn't too interested in it. Um, you know, even for the promo cards and stuff, the price would have to go down a lot for me to get it. I know like the lowest I've seen it during the sales in the last weekend were, I think I saw it for $89.99, which is what the Charizard UPC went for last Black Friday, but it just wasn't my jam. So, I have not purchased that one. So what I have remaining to open on the channel for 151 products is the Zapdos EX collection and then the Binder collection. Um, if I come across another booster bundle, I may buy it. I found some at Target maybe a month or so ago. And I just did not want to spend $28 on a booster bundle, and I didn't buy them, but I haven't seen them since. So, let's see how, where my journey takes me in opening 151. We've got a Hitmonlee, and, ooh, a Wigglytuff EX. I think I have this in English. This is so pretty. If you can see the hollow effect, has some stars, the hollow foil. Ooh, there we go. That's nice. Look at those bright blue eyes. That wiggly tough. This card is actually like very slightly curved. Oh, you can't really see it. Oh my gosh, it's like invisible right here. It's invisible. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> it's like a magic trick. Whoa. There it goes into the void. And here it is again. 
All right, Wigglytuff EX, making me an illusionist. That's pretty neat. So, hmm, how many packs have we opened so far? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're halfway with this pack. Oh, how cute! We've got this Charmander taking a little step. I'm gonna start a new pile because this is getting pretty big. We've got Weedle, Shelter, Victory Bow, Fero. Ooh, a Reverse Hollow Pidgey. This is nice. We love Pidgey. And a Golem, Golem EX. Ooh, that's fiery. Look at the flash in his eyes. All right. Oh, it's like halfway through. Got him four hits so far. Starting off with a Ponita. Another item. Magnemite. Golbat. Doug Trio, a Reverse Hollow Fero, also very nice. Ooh, and a, um, all right, you guys, my phone ran out of, um, storage. I think it cut out while I was opening this pack where I got this full art trainer. Um, and if it cut out before that, well, then I pulled a full art trainer. <laughs> Um, from the pack that I was opening when I realized that my phone had run out of storage so uh, the setup might also be like a little more zoomed in or out depending because I had to remove my phone from the mount anyway I'm back and here is the card that I just pulled I don't know her name and I cannot read it Korean so um, I may put that up on the screen right right now um, let me clean up a little bit here. We've got a lot of packs. Empty packs. Oh. Alright, so let's continue before my phone runs out of battery again, or not battery, storage. themselves a little bit. Okay, we've got a... Ooh, I forgot the name of this one, actually. Hmm, so we've got... Oh my gosh, how am I blanking? A bell sprout, and then there's this one, and then there's victory bell, right? Hmm. Oh, I feel so bad, I forgot that one. Maybe it'll come to me. We've got a Psyduck. Another item, Pinsir, Dragonair, a Reverse Hollow Nido Queen. It's very nice. She, her color looks very nice with the hollow foil. Is the hollow foil even on her? I don't think it is. It's just like shiny. It's pretty. And we've got a hollow Machamp. So long. Okay, 
And we've got a Magnemite to start this pack. A star you. Star you. Star me is evolution, I think. Slowpoke, Dugong. Ooh. Hmm. This is like a quiz. Gloom. This is Gloom. We've got a reverse hollow Kabuto. Oh look, this has like a Pokeball effect. You can see the Pokeballs right there. Cool. Ooh, and a Venusaur EX. Nice. Look at that hollow effect. That is so shiny and snazzy. We've got the stars too. That is nice. Okay. So, I mean, so far for the price, I think it's worth it as far as, like, you know, comparatively, if you buy an ETB, you might have this many pulls, but they already cost, like, $15 more than this one did. You know what? I think this was like $43. So maybe it's like $7 more, but you have a lot more chances maybe with one of these, but I also don't care that these card cards are in another language. So I know that might dissuade some people. Like I don't mind filling the gaps of my set with these Korean cards. Here we've got Nidorino. Ooh, a reverse hollow far-fetched. That's pretty. We've got the Pokeballs there again. Oof, that's so subtle. And a Hollow Moltres. We've got just five more packs to go. <laughs> there probably looked like I almost cut my fingers because the scissors grazed my fingers, but I promise I'm mostly careful. <laughs> We've got Caterpie. Cubone, Pikachu, we haven't seen these yet. Doug Trio, Pidgeot, Pidgeot. A Reverse Hollow Geodude. Ooh, and a Zapdos EX. That is pretty zing-zing. I really like how like the edges of these cards are like a dark, darker gray hollow lily. Here we have a Pidgey, Squirtle, Tangela, oof, another one. <laughs> I should be setting aside the ones that I forget. <laughs> um, I don't remember this one's name. Graveler? I think it's Graveler. I think. <laughs> Lapras, Reverse Hollow Kingdra, and another Hollow Electrode. Down to the last three packs. Now we're starting off with a squirrel. Meow. Got coughing. Coughing. Butterfree. So cute. Charmeleon. We don't see a lot of these. A reverse hollow item. And a hollow weezing. Evie to start our second to last pack. Caterpie, Cubone. Relax. Ooh. Hitmonchan. A hollow Gengar? Hollow Gengar. Oh! What is this? I mean, is it. If it evolves from this, I guess, fossil to Ammonite? Because that's not Omastar. Omastar's back here. Oops. It's, it's so blurry. Sorry. <laughs> here we have a. 
an almondite, almost star, another almondite back here. We've got Kabuto. This is like a fossil illustration rare. I love this. Oh, this is such a beautiful card. Look at the effect up here. Oh my goodness. Of like the water. Look how beautiful that is. And those colors. I love this card. You guys, this set is something else, isn't it? It is so beautiful. I'm really happy with this. Okay, cool. So, okay, we've gotten three illustration rares, one full art trainer, um, three EXs. Not, not too shabby. I'm pretty content with that. I like those chances. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Honestly, I, I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, we've got an electrode, their item, a goldine. This is our last pack of the Korean booster box. Hero, Arcanine, a hollow electrode. I feel like that bodes well. Oh, a reverse hollow. So the reverse hollow came. Oh, <laughs> the reverse hollow came behind the hollow in this one. Ooh, I got faked out a little bit, but can't complain. This has been pretty nice. Here, let us do a recap of the pulls in reverse order. Maybe <laughs> that doesn't work that well. <laughs> We've got a, a Mr. Mime illustration rare. Ooh. This lovely illustration rare of the Pikachu with a ton of other Pokemon that can be found in the image. We've got a Wigglytuff EX. Very fierce. We've got Golem EX. This full art trainer. Who will be named <laughs> through text in the video? got this Venusaur EX. I do have the English version of that. And Zapdos EX. The next product I've got to open. And this beautiful illustration rare. This one's definitely my favorite pull of this video. It is just really nice art and I love the color palette of this. This is really nice. This made this made the box for me. Um, all right. Thank you so much for joining me in opening this Korean booster box. This definitely will not be the last one that I open. Um, I'll keep an eye out for future sets or maybe for older sets that I would like to open. I definitely will be purchasing another one. Um, I'm almost tempted to buy another one of 151 because I'm pretty content with the amount of pulls. I mean, I don't know if it's worth, if these are worth $44. Um, but, you know, it's all in the fun and the chances as well. I can't really... <laughs> Sorry, it was my dog sighing in her sleep. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I don't go into it thinking that I'll make my money back or whatever, but I think, like, for the value, having this many pulls and being able to, like, pull them myself is pretty fun. So I'm happy with that. So thanks again for watching. If you would like to see me open up more Pokemon products, please feel free to subscribe um, and like this video if you enjoyed it. And hopefully you'll join me for the next one. I hope you have a good, good night.